Get ready for me to awkwardly jump in. Hi, I'm Emily from Fresh Paper Studios, and today I'm going to show you how to make those cool Pinterest images using a free online design software called Canva. Here's a little preview of what we're going to make. Here we are in Pinterest on one of my boards, and I noticed that the things that get repinned the most tend to have the same format. It's a photo with a title on top of it. So somebody asked me, how do you make those kinds of images for Pinterest? And I think there's this belief that you have to be a graphic designer or that you have to have expensive design software in order to make these kinds of images. But you really don't. There are a lot of free resources on the internet that you can use. Um, the one that I'm really liking right now is Canva. So we're going to use that. It's at canva.com and I've already created my free account and logged in. And you can see here are some different types of things that you can make in Canva, but I don't see anything about Pinterest. So I'm going to click more and then I'm scrolling down to social media posts. And here we go. Pinterest graphic. So this canvas is going to already be set up for good dimensions for Pinterest. Pinterest does not have strict requirements on um, their graphic dimensions, but this is a good size. Taller is better than wider for Pinterest, um, so I like how this looks. And we can start from scratch. That's something I'm gonna show you how to do in a different tutorial. Um, for now, I just wanna show you how easy it is to use Canva's templates. Um, there are a ton of different options here and you can fully edit all of them and most of them are free. I think actually all the templates are free. Uh, it's just if they use a, one of their stock photos, you have to pay for that photo and those are like a dollar. So there's one I found that I want to use today. I'm going to make a Pinterest image for this tutorial. That seemed fitting. So it's far down. I should have picked one higher up. <laughs> Here it is, blueberry pie. So the first thing I'm going to do is to swap out this photo because this is not a tutorial about how to make blueberry pie. As delicious as that sounds. So I'm going to delete that. Looks like the whole thing went away, but the words are still there. They're just white. And I'm going to go over to Uploads and click on Upload Your Own Images. Now, usually I like to take my own photos for my blog posts, um, but for the sake of time, I decided to use a stock photo. So this is one from Death to Stock Photos, which I highly recommend. They are super great photos and are not as cheesy as the stock photos you usually see online. So it's uploading, and now you'll see it came down here. These are all my uploaded photos. You can see I already uploaded it earlier. Um, and you just click on that, and it's going to pop up on your canvas. And it looks like it's a little bit smaller than my canvas. I want it to take up the whole space. I like the way that looks. So I'm just going to drag the corners out there. And it will keep your uh, ratios the same, which is cool. So now I have my photo set up the way that I want it, and I want to edit this text. So you just click on the word that you want to edit, highlight, and it's going to keep the font the same. I love that this is already slanty, and I'm going to say how to create, probably not proper capitalization, but I'm going to go with it. And this is going to say stunning images. Instead of pie, I want to say four. And you know what? I noticed that pie was kind of spaced out, but four looks super close together. So here is where you can see uh, the font that's being used, the size of the font, the color of the font. You could delete it, and down here there's other things you can do. So 
I'm going to go down here to text spacing and I just want to space it out a little more. And it's cool. You can just drag it until it looks like you want and then click away and you're good. So how to create stunning images for, and I want some more room. I'm going to move this guy down to the bottom. And I'm out of words that they gave me, so I need to put some of my own in. I'm going to go over here to where it says text and just hit add text. And I don't know what's going on there. Highlight it. I'm creating stunning images for Pinterest. So I'm writing that in. And then I'm going to move it to where I want it. The cool thing is this little purple line pops up to tell me when it's centered. And I want to make it match this stunning images. So I, I clicked on this to see it's Julia Sands 1 and it's 46 point font. So I click on Pinterest and choose Julia Sands 1 and I'm going to make it white. Here's my color chooser. And I think I want it even bigger. I think I'm going to make it 56 so that Pinterest really stands out. And I also want it to be centered. So that was on the, under the arrow. And then I'm going to move it. There we go. That is telling me it is lined up centered with that other text on the bottom. I think I want people to know that this tutorial is about using Canva. So I'm going to add another text box here. And I'm going to move it to where we can see it. And I'm going to go ahead and make it white. Mm, I don't want it to be capitalized. Using Canva. And I'm going to click the arrow. I want this to be centered. And I think, let's do it in this font. This how to create font. Yeah, that looks cute. And then I think I want it to be really big. Mm, maybe 80. Yeah, no, not that big. Maybe 64. Okay. Actually seeing that up with everything. I think I'm going to make it a little bit bigger after all. Okay, there we go. So now I have the majority of my text, but I don't like this white text over a white mug. So I think I'm going to move everything up. And to do that, I'm just going to draw a square that includes all of my text boxes. And then you see there's this white marquee. It's showing that everything here is selected. And I'm just going to move it straight up. It's giving me those little purple guides so that everything stays centered. That looks good, but I still have this problem with the white mug. So I'm going to bring that part down. I'm just. Great. And then down here it has, for more recipes, visit our website. That's left over from the blueberry pie, but it is a good idea to put your website at the bottom of your images. You know, things just get repinned and repinned and repinned, and sometimes it loses the original source. So. My website is freshpaperstudios.com. I liked how that one was kind of spaced out. So I'm going to give it a little more spacing. And then we're good. And this looks like a good image to me to put on Pinterest. 
So when it looks good and you're ready to save it to your computer, you go up here to download, click it, and we're going to download it as an image. This is not something we're printing. We're going to put it right on the web. So image is the option that we want. It takes a few seconds for them to work their magic and make it something that you can download. <clears throat> and since we used a free template and we used our own images, this cost nothing at all. And you can see it is currently downloading to my download spot over here. You can share it on if you want with somebody. Um, and I'm going to click it. And here we go. How to create stunning images for Pinterest using Canva. Well, thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it. You can subscribe to my brand new YouTube channel. I think there's a button below. <laughs> um, and you can check out my other design work at freshpaperstudios.com. Thanks so much. Bye.